Hello! My name is Nur Aliyah Masara binti Azhar. I form class AS1161B2. And I'm Siti Nahani Atina Rahim binti Rahim. I'm same class with her. Hi! Hi. I'm Muhammad Nani Koyum Bermasumia from class S1 Bimbi Rahim. I'm Muhammad Nani Koyum Bermasumia from class AS1161B2. And I'm Muhammad Nani Koyum Bermasumia from class S1161B2. And I'm Muhammad Nani Koyum Bermasumia from class S1161B2. And I'm Muhammad Nani Koyum Bermasumia from class S1161B2. Hello! Hello. I am Muhammad Harid Hafiz bin Abdul Rashid and I am from class AS1161B2. And I am Muhammad Haris Izzuddin bin Irakin from the same class and today we will be talking about the digestion in the human body. Hello, do you have some free time? Yes, I do. Uh, may I know your name? Uh, my name is Lukma Hakim Mewam Ikram. So this is a brochure about nutrient digestion process in human body. Mm. Uh, do you know about it? No. Okay, firstly, I want to talk about uh, mouth. Because everything we eat, we eat from mouth. So mouth, uh, when the food uh, been chewed, it will break the food to the pieces that are more easily to digest. Mm. Next, the, the saliva will blend with food to begin the process of breaking it down to a similar form uh, form for body to retain and utilize. Next, uh, it was excreted by saliva glands. Saliva glands contain water, sauce, mucus and enzymes. And um, after we chew the food we eat, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, good through our esophagus. It's basically right here. Right here, basically, is going to our stomach. Um, it's a to a position of a series of muscular constriction called peristasis. The esophagus conveys food to stomach, and stomach is a organ that can we call a can we call container that hold your food uh, to process. Then, uh, the global cell secretly uh, secret missing to form mucus. Then, when the contents of the stomach are sufficiently processed, they are released into the small intestine. So, so, did you get some free time for yes. us? Yes, I got so some I would like to show you about the nutrient digestion process in human body. Mm, what is it so about? It is about our digestion process in our body. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to tell you about pancreas. As you can see here, pancreas secretes pancreatic juice, which is enzymes and bicarbonate in duodenum. Did you know that duodenum is the first segment of small intestine and mm. also these enzymes break down like um, fats, proteins and carbohydrates and also makes insulin. Mm. It, is the time, mm. it is the first time I heard about it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And it also secretes, it also makes insulin and secretes directly into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And you also have to know that insulin is the chief hormone for the metabolizing sugar. Mm -hmm. And I would like to tell you about liver, as my friend here will tell you about liver. Okay. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening. All right, I will be talking about liver. Do you know what is liver? Uh, I know it's an organ in our body. Okay. So all what right. Is it all right. So liver is the essentially the chemical factory mm -hmm. in our body. It's absorb the nutrient from the small intestine and then he transform it into several important nutrients in our body. It is also the reason why we can consume drugs such as paracetamol. You know paracetamol? Uh, I don't know about it. Paracetamol? Panadol, Panadol. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sir. We eat Panadol and the liver process it mm. and it becomes non-toxic to us. So that is the, basically the function of the liver. 
the system. So I will give back to my friend Hafiz to talk about Galbari. Yep. So the next one is Galbari. As you can see uh, over here, it mm -hmm. stores and concentrates bile and then releases it into the duodenum to help absorb and digest fats. I see. Hi! Can Hi. I have uh, your time just for a few minutes? Yes, yes. sure. Uh, sure. Uh, so today I want to talk about this brochure. Brochure? Sorry. Uh, the brochure uh, is about nutrient digestion process in human body. This so is the brochure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so today I want to talk about uh, small intestine. The small intestine, it is a 22 foot long muscular tube that breaks down food using enzyme released by the pancreas and by from the liver. Uh, so small intestine uh, made of three segments. Uh, firstly, it's duodenum. It's responsible for the continuous breaking down process. And others two have the same function, it's jejunum and ileum. The function is uh, absorption, absorption of nutrients into the bloodstream. And then there's, uh, there is peristalsis, it's also working in this organ, moving food through and mixing it with digestive secretions from the pancreas and liver. Then contents of the small intestine Thin start up semi solid and end in a liquid from after passing through the organ. Once the nutrient has been absorbed and the leftover food residue liquid has passed through the small intestine, it then moves on to the large intestine or colon. So, Sarah, yeah? what about the large intestine? For the large intestine, the colon is said for long muscular tube that connect to the small intestine to the rectum. Uh, the large test intestine is made up for the sacrum, the <coughs> extending on the right colon and the transversing across the colon, the descending um, on the left colon and the side mode colon which is connected to the rectum. The appendix is a small tube attached to the sacrum. The large intestine is highly specialized organ that is responsible for processing waste uh, so the empathy, the bowel is uh, easy for the conversation. So we are very thankful to you for your time. So thank you guys. Welcome. Welcome. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.